Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Well, I'm going to do my first ever review, and I'm going to review a book called The King and I, which is by a guy called Rob Asprey, who was an Australian TV sports reporter and presenter a few years ago. He now lives in Bangkok. Well, it's very much about his life with Graham Kennedy. Graham Kennedy was described often as the king of Australian television. He died about two years ago, right from the beginning of Australian TV, back in around 1957 until the early 90s when he went into obscurity partly for retirement he really was the doyen and icon of Australian TV everybody knew Graham Kennedy well Rob Asprey had a 20-year on-off relationship with Graham Kennedy a gay relationship that Graham was very closeted and he felt he was very discreet and he kept his private life a very secret although within the industry it's pretty open well Rob Asprey writes a book and about his time with him. Now, I don't like Kiss and Tells, but I find this is very sensitively handled. It's a good read. I read it within two hours on the plane from Sydney to San Francisco just the other day. It's not your usual tittle-tattle in Kiss and Tell. It doesn't go into sexual details about their relationship. It just talks in general about what they got up to, how they met their friendship. And it talks about Graham Kennedy's many sides. The very funny, fun side we saw on TV, but it also talks about his private side of depression, sadness and egotism, as well as the way he could be vindictive and nasty. Sadly, the back cover of the book is one of my criticisms. I've got to say, when you read it, it says things like, lurking behind a facade of rapier, quick repartee and bug-eyed joviality was a dark and twisted soul, cruel, vindictive and wolfishly self-obsessed. Kennedy was obliged to conceal his sexual preferences at a time when being openly gay meant professional suicide. Well, from that, it describes him very much as vindictive, greedy, egotistical. But if you actually read the book itself, it talks about the different sides to his personality. Like all of us, we're very much multi-dimensional. And it talks about how he could be very generous to his friends, very kind, very loving, and very caring. And Rob Asprey talks about his 20-year relationship, talks about the many facets and sides of it in great detail, but without giving too much away. And I really admire that. And as I say, I read it within two hours, couldn't put it down. Many books I skim read, this one I read word for word. It was published last year, but it's still out in the shops, particularly in Sydney and Melbourne where he worked. Just a bit about Graham Kennedy. I've already told you, for many years he was the face of Australian television. Well, he was on many shows. He was extremely popular. He was on in Melbourne tonight, which was very popular, and it talks about his very good friends, ugly Dave Gray, who appeared on with him on programmes such as Blankety Blanks, and of course Bert Newton, who's still on Australian TV, hosting Bert's Family Feud on Channel 9. The book answers a lot of questions about what Graham was and how he got to where he did, because of course he didn't just get there, he worked bloody hard to get to where he got, and the book tackles that. It talks about how he was in private, as I've talked about, the fact he could be very vindictive, at times cruel, but at the same time very generous, very caring, and very kind. It talks about how he got to the position he did, and how he was so popular, how he was so famous, because of course he didn't just get there, as I've said, he worked hard to get it. He was determined, and that's what I admire about him. It's not your usual, usual kiss and tell. It's not your usual tittle-tattle. It's very discreet, doesn't go into too much detail of things, but gives you just enough. I've already talked about how the back cover perhaps doesn't really sum up what the book is like. Other things, such as there were some questions which were unanswered. For instance, it mentions Bert Newton didn't go to Gray and Kennedy's funeral. Well, why didn't he go? It does tackle some interesting subjects such as Darren Hinch, an Australian radio presenter, suggested, in fact he said, that Graham Kennedy died of AIDS. The book tackles that and looks at was it a correct statement or not, but it doesn't actually answer the question. It's pretty unsure. Did he have it or didn't he? The writer, Rob Asprey, thinks he probably didn't. But it was wondering, and there's an open question mark, because at the same time, could a Graham Kennedy have requested an AIDS test? And there's not quite an answer, did he die of AIDS or did he not? But it doesn't really matter. He was a great presenter, he was good. Personally, for me, 
Graham Kennedy, despite being very clever, very talented, wasn't the king of Australian TV. That crown has to go to Bert Newton, who's been around for longest, still going, and is a very popular guy and still out there, and very generous too. Graham Kennedy was, but he had different sides, and I personally found Bert Newton still find him funnier than Graham Kennedy, but Graham Kennedy was very much a good host. He was there in the early days. He was a pioneer of Australian TV. So I suggest to you, you go out and get this book. It's still in the shops. It was published last year. I'll give it about 8 or 9 out of 10. And as I say, I read it in two hours flat. So go out and get it. It's a brilliant read. Not just if you want to know about Graham Kennedy, if you want to know about the relationship, what he was like in private, but also just to know a bit more about somebody who very much made Australian TV a pioneer who was there since the early days and is sadly a great loss to the industry. So please go out and buy it. It's a great read. I was glued to it. I usually skim read, but I really enjoyed it. Thank you.